There is one perk in all of Dead by Daylight that I hate when I play Killer and Survivor, and that perk is Distortion. Now, I hate it when I play it on Survivor because my teammates that run it usually suck. And the reason I hate it on Killer is because I love running or reading perks. The reason I run two or three every match is because to me, the most boring part of the game is having to go and check every corner to try and find a Survivor. I like getting down to the chase and managing generators, and that's about it. That's the fun part about Killer. I get that a lot of people think of Dead by Daylight as a stealth horror game, but I just think of the game in a chase aspect. If I'm chasing, I'm probably having fun. And the overall design of the perk is a spit in the face for just aura reading perks. Like it takes all the aura reading perks, singles them up together, and just like destroys them. Like imagine there was a perk that let survivors work on block generators just to destroy perks that block generators. It, it's it's kind of dumb. It just targets this one category of perks and says, nope, you're not working today. Here is the big problem with distortion and the playstyle that it promotes. Now I'd like to make this like a long segment like super analyzing why people play with distortion the way they do, but basically the perk just promotes playing super stealthy and really scared. Don't get me wrong, playing stealthy sometimes is good and can be very efficient for winning the game, but a lot of the time it's usually your teammates that end up getting harmed by your stealthy playstyle. Like you're too scared to go one for one on a hook, you're too scared to even go for the hook save if the killer is semi close. Uh, you don't want to work on generators because it may be you're just injured and you don't want the killer to get there. It's like a stealth killer maybe. The whole purpose of distortion is to avoid confrontation with the killer. That's literally the design of the perk. And sometimes you need to take aggression for your teammates. You need to get chased because all your teammates are dead on hook. You need to get chased because your the last generator is about to pop. You gotta take the killer's attention. But distortion players just won't do this because that's what the perk promotes. And another really dumb thing about this perk is that it requires zero setup. You get three free uses of this perk at the start of the trial and you can fill it up by being in the killer's terror radius. And I get what they're trying to do when they made this perk. They were trying to make it so that, yeah, you can play a little bit stealthy, but then you have to go near the killer again. So you're risking it just to get more tokens. But three free uses? How often? That's like what, Lethal Pursuer and two barbecue procs. That's like a halfway into the game pretty much. And you'll probably fill it up just by either getting chased or the killer going in and out of your range, like being in and out of the terror radius. It's basically like Urban Evasion if it was good. Because Distortion is not a bad perk at all, and good players could probably utilize it very well. But 99.99 .99 of Distortion players just play super scare all game because they don't want to confront the killer. And there's this argument that I heard of someone saying, Oh, just let people who suck at chase run it. They, if they didn't run Distortion and went down in 5 seconds, you'd still complain. Yes, that is true. I would still complain because I'm the biggest hater out there. <laughs> and I love yapping. But still, how are you going to get good with chase if you never take it? It starts a cycle of someone runs distortion, they don't get chased a lot, they suck at chase, so they run distortion to avoid chase. That's the cycle right there. And it makes me angry. I hate playing against this perk, I hate playing with people that run this perk. Not because the perk itself is bad or annoying, but the playstyle that it promotes is it's just not fun to play with because most of the time they're not going for saves, they're not doing gens, they're not getting chased at all, they're usually really bad at chases. And you know, I I did mention earlier that you get three whole uses, but once they run out and the killer finds you and you're not good at chase, that's gonna be terrible for the team. I don't care if my teammate genuinely tries to, you know, hold up a chase and they suck. I mean, I might laugh at them, but I would much prefer you like pre-dropping every pallet and wasting like two minutes of the killer's time rather than just run distortion and go down in like five seconds once the killer finds you. I despise this perk and I don't think it's broken or anything. I don't think it needs to be like nerfed. I would like for it to be changed, but you know. I doubt they're gonna change a perk like this because not enough people complain about it. I'm just the weird one But let me know what you think. Let me know if you hate distortion as much as I do and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching